information on a story we first reported several hours ago, the mall shooting in the crucial swing state of Iowa. Let's go now to Jack Bergen in the war of the White House bunker for an update. Jack. Thanks, Andrea. Earlier today in Des Moines, a single gunman opened fire in the Woodview Square Mall, leaving at least 15 potential voters dead and over a dozen more seriously injured. Now, at this point, we can confirm that four of those killed were Democrats and seven were Republicans. Six of the dead were not of voting age, so not of consequence here. So the Obama camp has got to be excited about the outcome of this mass killing so far. Well, as of now, certainly looking good for the Democrats, but uh, three bodies have yet to be identified. Okay. And police are still searching the mall for anyone who may have crawled off bleeding and died in some nook or cranny. So how long will it be until we can tally the final results of the shooting? Andrea, screen? hang on a second. I'm, I'm getting an update right now on two of the unidentified victims. Uh, okay, it's the young married couple who was shot in the chest multiple times outside the KB Toy Store. Were they registered? No official word yet, but apparently, while paramedics were trying to revive them, they discovered Obama buttons pinned to their bloody garments. Finally, a little ray of sunshine for the McCain camp. They've there. got some momentum back. And what about the young pregnant woman shot in the head inside Banana Republic? Well, witnesses reported seeing her praying during the shootout. Oh, really? Leading some to believe she was a church going conservative. Okay, Jack, let's look at the broader picture here. What about the family members of the victims? Will they still vote? We've been polling these family members all morning, but so far the results have been inconclusive. Okay. In fact, among family members we spoke with, only 4% were leaning McCain, 7% okay. for Obama, while 89% were crying incoherently. Now, let's talk about the biggest wild card here, the shooter, the shooter himself. Right. Okay, he's a registered independent. All His right. name is Jeff Frauwein. He was shot in the neck by a mall security guard. Okay. But he could still cast a ballot if he regains consciousness and votes absentee from the hospital before his court date. Yeah, the candidates begun vying for Frauwein's vote. You know, just before committing suicide about an hour ago, Frauwein's longtime girlfriend mentioned that the killer had been planning to vote Democrat well, this year. After that news broke, the Obama campaign launched a special section on their website where supporters can donate money to pay for the best medical care to keep Frau on alive. Interesting strategy. Uh, but the McCain camp is not giving up. The director of McCain's Iowa campaign office made this statement shortly after. Let's take a look. Mr. Frau John McCain has always been a staunch supporter of the rights that are important to you, like the right to own a gun. If you're not still in a coma come this November, we hope you'll vote John McCain for America. The McCain camp clearly not ready to concede this bloodbath to Obama. Well, this election season's taught us that things can change in an instant, Jack, so there's still plenty of time for McCain right, to catch up. Right, and tomorrow there could be a dorm fire in a liberal arts college. Right. A tornado might pass through the black section of Cedar Rapids. Well, I'm sure McCain has his fingers crossed. Thanks, Jack.